20. Join me, won't you? Look, join me, won't you? Get your eggs more notes out. <laughs> Who in there, bar? When I did that freestyle re re lap, and he thinks it's so funny. Um, so yesterday we graphed the polar coordinates, which at first I'm sure was just kind of a headache. Um, remember that when you're graphing them, you do think rotate the spinner, and then you move in the direction of the spinner if it's a positive bar. You move right behind it if it's a negative bar. Um, so we practiced, and then uh, we looked at if it's in radians, it's easier to change it to degrees to think of the rotation if you need to. And that was as far as we got. So now we're right here. Now we're in the algebra stuff, which is what I like. I just like, just give me a formula, algebra, and let me, let me have at it. So look at this. Um, what you might want to highlight on your paper so that you'll remember this slide will help you in the homework if you are converting between polar and rectangular coordinates. If you're going from one format to the other format, it's very similar to when we were converting complex numbers to trig notation or vice versa. Um, it's the same concept, just a different formula. This box right here is giving you the formulas that you need. We already know R. The absolute value for R is the square root of x squared plus y squared. We already know the cosine theta fraction is A over R, or what you're used to is x over R. I want you, so the new part right here, notice the R is in the bottom of the fraction and you could cross multiply that over to the front, which is what yields this right here. Do you see that? And then here, the R is in the bottom of the fraction, you could cross multiply it to the front, which is what yields this equation. tangent, we don't work with tangent on the uh, polar coordinates. So convert each of the following to, I was on the wrong slide, to polar coordinates. Read the directions, go to your formulas, read the formula to remind yourself that the polar coordinate Look in the directions right here. Polar coordinates are of the form r comma theta. r comma theta. So the goal is to go take 3, 3, for instance, and convert it to polar form. That's the goal. Okay? So make, make the note in your mind that this is the goal. Which means, if you keep in mind what the goal is, now you know I need to find R and I need to find theta, right? If you use the directions to write down what the goal is or the formula, then you can see like where you actually start the problem. So we're going to start this one by finding R. First of all, 3, 3. That's a rectangular coordinate. That's an X, Y, okay? Right here, notice it says P of X, Y, or P of R theta. This is the rectangular format right here, and this is the polar, okay? It's the equivalent of one yard is three feet. So the two things look totally different, one yard, three feet, but they measure the exact same. Well, in terms of coordinates, a rectangular coordinate converted to a polar coordinate will land in the exact same spot, but the way they look is totally different in terms of like the parentheses. Okay, so what quadrant is 3, 3 in? 
based on the signs. It's in quadrant one. So that lets me know that this polar coordinate is going to come from quadrant one. We're going to find R. R is the square root, look at the formula, it's right here, x squared plus y squared. This is my x, this is my y. So that's 9 plus 9, which is 18. And what does 18 reduce to? Yeah. 18 reduces to the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, right? And the square root of 9 is... The square root of 9 is 3, and then the root 2 just carries, right? So what's R? What did we come to for R? 3 square root 2. And we're in quadrant 1. Let's draw a picture of our triangle in quadrant 1, and let's label it. Right here, we'll draw a picture of my triangle, quadrant one. This three three is landing right here. This is my theta. Now there's two ways to finish this. There are three ways to finish this. We could use the sine and the cosine, which I think is actually is what I did in one version, and then I went back and I said, well, no, wait a minute, this would actually be easier. You could use sine or cosine to find out what your theta is. Um, what do you notice about the x and the y here? They're the same number, right? Do you notice that? So if you look up here at your formulas, if I go with the cosine route or the sine route, I'm going to have a 3 over a 3 square root 2, right? Because r is 3 square root 2. But what if I use tangent? I have x over y, and what, or y over x, and what is the x and the y? They're the same number. So what happens when you divide that? You get 1, which is nice and pretty, right? So you have the choice here to decide which one you're going to use. In fact, on the next example, I used sine. So that should show you that it doesn't matter what you use. You'll still come to the same answer. But I like to think smarter, not harder. I noticed that my x and my y match. So I'm going to use tangent to find theta. Because when I divide 3 over 3, I get 1, which is a nice and pretty number. And I know I'm in quadrant 1. So let's set it up. Tangent theta equals y over x. What is y? 3. x is 3. What's that? 1. So the question is, in quadrant 1, where would tangent be equal to 1? What would the angle measure be? And you would go to your unit circle. You should know this one from, the, from memory. This was one of the pretty angle measures. But I'll pull it up so when we get to one that's not pretty. Do it every time. It's chapter 6. So we know we're in quadrant 1. Where would tan equal 1 in quadrant 1? Right here. Everybody agree? So my angle measure is 45 or pi over 4. So come right here. I'm going to make a note in my little graphic to say, okay, so theta is 45 or pi over 4. So now you've done the work to get the information that you need. Now you just have to write it as an actual point. So go back to the directions. It says convert to polar form. What is the formula for polar form? According to it. What's the formula for polar form? R comma theta. 
So my answer here, what, what did we find R to be? 3 square root 2. And what did we find theta to be? 45. And I'm going to write it in both forms so that you understand both answers are acceptable. Now on the My Math Lab, I think they specify what format they want the um, theta in. So, because it's awkward, it's new, you've never done this before, let me, let me refresh what we just did. We started with a regular x, y. The directions say go to polar form. It helps to write the formula for polar form so that you can see, okay, i got to find r and i got to find theta. You will have the formula for r, so you don't have to memorize how do I find r. You'll have the formula. This was your standard rectangular coordinate from the x, y axis, axes. So, it, and that tells me I'm in quadrant one. This picture here was just to help remind you you're in quadrant one. So, wh where is tangent equal to one? You needed to know we were focusing on quadrant one. Because what other quadrant is tangent equal to one? Remember? So there's one or three, because in three they're both negative, and when you divide them, you get positive one. So it's important to make a note of what quadrant you're in so that there's only one right answer when you get to the part of what's theta. The way you get theta can come from any of these three trig functions, any of them. You just set it up. Plug in the x, the y, or the r, and then you go to your unit circle in that quadrant and you ask yourself what angle would have that cosine, or have that sine, or have that tangent. And the only reason I picked tangent was because x and y matched and it was pretty, it became a 1. But you didn't have to. You could have picked cosine. If you had picked cosine, it would be 3 over... 3 square root 2, the 3's would cancel, and then you would have to rationalize. So you would have cosine theta equals root 2 over 2, which is still, in quadrant 1, 45. Right? So you still get the same answer. All right, let's do B. The first thing you need to ask yourself is what quadrant am I in? You get this answer by looking at the signs. This is x, this is y. X is positive, Y is negative, so you're in quadrant 4. You don't have to draw a picture, but I'm going to draw a picture because it reminds me to, uh, when I go to my unit circle, to look at just that quadrant. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is find R. We have a formula for R. It's the square root of x, that might be cookies, squared plus y squared. Hold on. This is ugly. Um, go to your calculator, type. That's a sign. Hang up. Go to your calculator, type the radicand. And see if it ends up being pretty. It should be pretty because when you square a square root, they cancel. But if you're worried that you're going to mess this part up by doing it by hand, then by all means, type just the part under the radical in your calculator. You should get 4, right? Under the right, I'm sorry, you get 16. Yeah, okay. So we have r is the square root of 16, which is 4. If you did not get 16, double check your parentheses, because if they're not in the right spot, then that's why you didn't get 16. Okay, so r is 4. Now you have your freedom to choose which one you want to choose. I personally, this is where, think smarter, not harder. Look at your x and your y. 
I personally um, did not want to use X at all. Can you tell me why? Because it's got that radical. I didn't want to deal with it. Even if it does end up coming out nice, I didn't want to deal with it. So I decided to use Y because it's negative 2, and then R is just 4. So I went with um, sine. So set it up. Sine theta equals Y over R. Uh, y is negative 2, R is 4, and what's that become? So now you go to your unit circle, remember you're in quadrant 4, and you're finding the angle that has a Y coordinate of negative 1 half. Yes, quadrant 4, Y coordinate negative 1 half. Um, what? Oh, no. 3.30 and 11 power to 6. So now we just write it as a polar coordinate. This right here, we found theta to be 3.30 or 11 pi over 6. So write your polar coordinate. Look at the formula. It's r comma theta. R was 4, theta was 3.30, and I'm going to write both for the same reason I wrote both in the last column. Okay, go to the next slide. Now we're going to go in reverse. This is actually my more preferred direction of like the line of questioning because it's straightforward from the X and the Y formulas right here and you just plug it in and then clean it up. So look at the directions. This says this time convert each of the following to rectangular coordinates. That means this is the goal, right? Goal rectangular means give me an X and a Y as your final answer. Well, if you look at your formula sheet, you have a formula for X and you have a formula for Y. And if it's in polar form to start with, then that means it's of the form R comma theta, which means R is what here? 10, and what's theta? 5 or 3. So it's just plug it in. So let's find the x coordinate. Let's find the y coordinate. So x is r cosine theta, and y is r sine theta. Okay, r is 10. Whoops. 5 or 3. Now I would go to my unit circle and I would pull the x from pi over 3 and the y from pi over 3. The x at pi over 3 is 1 half. The y at pi over 3 is square root 3 over 2. Then clean that up. Um, half of 10 is 5. This right here, the root 3 just travels along to the right. This 2 divides into that 10, leaving a 5. And so now you just put it together as a point. So um, I guess I'm going to write it right here. So that polar coordinate as a rectangular xy coordinate would be 5 comma 5 root 3. And that's the answer. Uh, you try B.
get to where you're plugging in the X and the Y, and then now you've got to clean it up. There's really not a lot to clean up here because they're not pretty numbers. <coughs> the X coordinate, you have a negative times a negative, which would yield a positive, so that's going to clean up. But then as far as 5 multiplying by root 2 over 2, there's nothing you can do there, so you just shove it together. So this is 5 root 2 all over 2, and then here, negative 5 root 2 all over 2. And that is your rectangular coordinate for this particular polar coordinate.